What is up with the anime's community, anime community's inability to handle a joke? That day joke, folks. Uh, so on Hell's Paradise, yo, phenomenal anime. Y'all don't, I'm not gonna spoil it. Um, if you've at least watched two episodes, this is it. I'm not gonna go deep. Anyways, uh, you know, we were shipping uh, Salgari and Gabi Maru on the community section yesterday. I deleted all my takes. I just took it off that section because I didn't want to have fun with that crew. I didn't want to have fun. I just took it back. Um, Gabi Maru got a wife, man, and he ain't no simp. He's a loyal, loyal husband. So, but I don't really see his wife on screen like that. I just see flashbacks. And Sagari is the one that you build an on-screen connection with. And, you know, I can't help but want to ship her with Gabi Maru, but hear me out. Uh, on my side, when I ship them together, I don't expect Gabi Maru to cheat or any of that. For me, right, I expect to get back to the island or whatever, find out the wife is dead, right? And then the options are open. Nothing crazy like cheating or any of that. And people just jump at you uh, for even having the, 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 the desire to see these two together. Like, I don't, I, I want an outcome where he's not a bad guy, you know? But even so, I don't really care. Other than the fact that, oh, I like to see them together. I'm just simping after uh, Sagari. And I, th th vicariously, Gabumaru is the male protagonist that has most of the screen time. So I ship those two together. For me personally, when I ship people together, it's often a vicarious situation. Like, like that's not my person, right? Y'all two together, I would love to see y'all together. That's how it works. I don't have any... Uh, 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 affection towards Gabi Maru's wife personally. I just respect her character and I respect that that's Gabi Maru's wife ultimately, right? <laughs> yo, in Vinland, yo, this is on brand. In Vinland Saga, I was hoping that Arnhide would leave her man for Einar, right? Like, I know she got a husband, but I don't have no connection with him. So I was hoping Einar and Arnheid get together, right? And then people will hold me accountable to past takes. Like, oh, you want you want him to cheat on his wife, but you flipped out when Kettle beat her in Finland Saga. And for me, it's like, look, when I ship people together, it's harmless fun. You know, at the end of the day, I don't want to see characters get hurt and heinous actions. I don't want cheating necessarily. I just like the idea of those two together. And I want to have fun with the thought. Simple. Vinland Saga's beatdown hadn't had there was no nothing to joke about. There was no comedy. There was no oh I want to fantasize about either I, I definitely don't want to fantasize about beating Arnheid's cheeks. Not the way Kettle did at least. Not the way Kettle did. So <laughs> um that's where that goes. It didn't it didn't spark any humor. But you know, with with, with just fan fiction shipping people together, and this is not a new thing. In Bleach, I kept shipping uh, Hitsugaya and that dang girl that got manipulated by Aizen. I forget her name. People got outraged over that because of the age difference in those characters, even though they pretty much look the same age. You know, so... Yeah, like I was saying, uh, people flipped out when I would ship Ichigo and Rukia. Oh, yeah. They're just friends. You guys can't handle a platonic relationship for like five seconds. And why does everything have to be a harem? Why does everything have to be shipping together? It's like, because, man, it's fun. It's fun. Not everything has to be a mature take, you know? Um, and that's really all there is to it. Now, that being said, I fully welcome the fact that you don't want to participate in the shipping. My issue, my, my only issue is when people are having fun, right? Just shipping people and just have a little fiction conversations, and then you guys enter those conversations, seeing everyone have fun, right? And then uh, start giving them a hard time over it. Like, like don't come, like we're having fun, don't be here then. Why are you watching us and then getting mad? You know what I mean? It's like showing up to a playground, okay? And then getting mad at the children for playing at the playground. They're at a playground, ignore them. Go someplace else. You know what I mean? Going to the beach. I say, hey, 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 no playing around here. Everyone stay out the water. No running, Karens.
internet Karens. That's who these people are that see us having fun and want to go over there and give us our time. So like, to conclude as we're ending this, like, yeah, you, you see an outrageous moment in an anime and then you vent about it back to the Vinland Saga comparison, right? I'm venting about Vinland Saga and what the characters did. Like, you know, that that's a conversation to vent about the frustrations, right? So if you want to participate in that conversation, you are defending a character or you're not defending a character. That is a debate zone. If you see a group of people just having fun, minding their own goddamn business, not bothering anybody, and you don't like the way they're having fun, so you go and police them, that's the people I'm talking to. It took me five minutes to explain that. So, anyways, much love to you guys. <laughs> I want to hear from you. This is the section that I talked to about these stuff. That's why I pulled it from the community post, all my feedback. I was like, you know what? I'm not going to interact with you guys. You guys are not fun. I'll stand the Boy Rock Lee show. That audience that follows is fun. We're about to find out in response to this video. I also put it on Patreon. So I have a mixed crowd. So not everyone is going to like it. Not everyone's going to want to have fun. We just wants to have fun. We just wants to have fun. Only just wanna have fun.